and keep this number. We'll be using this for the next problem here. Now, if this problem asks you sales volume variances. So you have the flexible budget cost that you calculated earlier. What would be sales volume variance here? That would be D. So which is the part? How did you get that? Mm -hmm. So that will be 16, right? Okay, so would this be favorable or unfavorable? Think again. Think again. So we stat the static budget is 100 connectors and we want to se sell 100, but then we actually sold 84. But the calculation is exactly correct. The calculation part, you want to get 84 minus 100. So since here, we usually use the actual minus the budgeted, so you know that there's a minus sign here. Minus 16, you're missing 16. So then you know it would be unfavorable here. Okay, so it would be minus 16 times 145 plus 700. All right, so this should be unfavorable, $2,320. Here I highlighted this here because the book gave you the answer D, so make sure you go back to change the answer to C. Okay, in the textbook, this problem is from the book uh, number two from this chapter. Make sure you change the answer to C. It's not D. It should be unfavorable. So the first problem we got, flexible cost. Now we have sales volume variances. Of course, you, you can also get the entire static budget first, static budget operating income, and then just subtract these two. That would be the same thing. Or get the differences here and then times 145.